Hello there folks, as you can see on your screen here, we've got our hands on something pretty interesting. Uh, these are Dokkan Battle Trading Cards. Now these are created by fellow content creator Greg Dore, I'll have his YouTube link in the description below. If you want to check him out, shout out to him. And yeah, let's just open these up and see what they're about. Don't mind the bandage, had a little bit of a tumble, but you know, it's alright, it's alright. I think we open them up through here. Bit of an IRL unboxing <laughs> video of sorts. I don't want to break. How do I do this? Open the thing. No, I don't need an airplane. Okay, we got it. We got it. <laughs> Alright, I think the airplane's gone. We're good for now. Uh, let's open these up. Ooh. <laughs> okay, you can already see it. So if you play Dokkan Battle, you know what these cards are. If you don't, uh, these are some pretty special cards for... Uh, how do I say? Well, these are recent. These are for the seventh anniversary uh, legendary rare characters. Let me just flop the box there. Let me fix it up real quick without me breaking it because I like the, the box. Okay, these look awesome. So we have here is the LR Super Saiyan Gods from the uh, seventh anniversary. So um, now what Greg has done is actually put their stats on in a very interesting way, you can see, you know, you have their um, hit of potential stats, they've got the type, LR, rainbow star, so they've all dupes. And if we can, if I can just get in here, you might not be able to see it too well. So 001, that's the first batch that he's made, so I think this is one of the first decks that he made, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, Dokkan Festival exclusive, obviously, the 70th anniversary, uh, very nice. And it's, it's a legitimate trading card, it feels very good. Um, let me just put the rest of these aside. You can see, obviously, they have their transformed state there. Let's turn this around. And he's just got, obviously, level 10 links and everything. He's got, uh, I think this is a QR code to a Dokkan Wiki site. Uh, so it's pretty nice that he's included that. So if you, you can see the uh, extra stuff that might not be on here. And uh, obviously, you've got hidden potential pass and whatnot. So. Theoretically speaking, you could make this into like a, some sort of card game if you could, but we'll have to see what happens there. But this, it feels really nice, um, you know, it's high quality, and, oh, nice drop. <laughs> it is what it is, it, it, it's very nice, I like it. Let's have a look at the, um, in fact, I'll just place it here for now. Let's get the transform state, so this is the, the same card, but they're Super Saiyan Blue, so that's the active skill. And uh, again, same thing as before, but just very nice. It's like the Dragon Ball Super card game. So uh, you have the transform state of uh, a card. Airplane number two. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> but yeah, it does look very nice. And uh, it feels great. Um, just don't bend them too much because, you know, the cards. I might have to get some card sticks from them. I think I still have some from my Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. But... Um, very cool. I like that. Let's move on to the next card, which is, uh, I think, one that most people are going to enjoy. Super Saiyan 4s, the LRs. Again, from the 7th anniversary. And um, it does look clean. I'm going to be honest. It does look clean. Um, they were, obviously, they've got their names here. You know, Saiyan Warriors and Ultimate Power. Everything here is from the actual game, Dokkan Battle. But what else can I say? It's very clean. Like, oh, and we've got the transformation here as well. The uh, Super Saiyan 4 Gorujita, and I think he's done a great job of like creating the old aesthetic of the card. He, he's managed to simplify it down to the most basic parts. Like you know, got the stats here, and um, obviously like passive skill and this stuff. I don't know if you'd have that in. <laughs> I don't know if you had that in the actual like if you want to make a card game with these cards, but I suppose that's what the QR code is for. But yeah, LR, uh, LR Super Saiyan 4s from the 7th anniversary. Looking very clean as you do, as you do. Okay, uh, let's move on to something that was recently released on the global version of Dokkan. Uh, LR Vegeta and Trunks. Now this looks uh, very nice. As you can see, with, with all the cards as well, with their different types, you've got the different sort of shading as well. So this is purple for intelligence type, which is quite nice as you can see we've got the whole Dokkan battle screen so the difference between these here obviously these are special for the 7th anniversary so they have a diff bit of a different logo these ones are more blacked out but this one has more of like that uh, blue 
uh, screen as you would normally see in the game. But um, yeah, again, it's got the, I think it's just got some random rainbow stats as well. Yours might be different in the game, um, if, with, depending on whether or not you have these guys rainbowed. If you do, then that's pretty nice. The arts look pretty HD as well. It's, it's very nice, I will admit. This is awesome. <laughs> Never imagine you get to pull up with stuff like this. Um, now for this guy, Furiza no brother. <laughs> Final form cooler for the worldwide download celebration. Um, obviously he's got that red shading for strength. It, it looks very clean. This is probably one of my favorites if I do say so. It just fits so well. Um, again, obviously he has that Dokkan, uh, Dokkan Festival exclusive. Um, <laughs> it's so surreal to have these like actual cards because you used to have them in that Gasha format but these look very good I will be honest check that out again if you want to get your hands on one of these check out Greg Door in the description below and you can see how you can get some of these but um, wow we got ourselves here the uh, part two um, Super Saiyan Goku and Vegeta from the Worldwide uh, Download Celebration, part two, as you do. Uh, AGL, so he's got that sort of dark bluish shading, which is interesting. I thought initially it would be like a light blue shading, but I think dark blue, almost purple, not quite purple, but almost. I think that suits the aesthetic really well. So it does look good. Have a look at their uh, transform state here. You can just compare it. It does look very nice, I will admit. There's nothing to signify it's from the Worldwide Download Celebration, but I suppose that there's nothing... There's no real point to that, because you have the anniversaries. Um, and you might have, like, the Heroes cards as well. You might do something like that if you might have, like, an identifier at the bottom here. But, yeah, this is the... This is just the pack showcase for... If I can please get him out. <laughs> of the... Um, First batch of Dokkan Battle trading cards. You've got cards in their transform state. You've just got standalone cards as well, like Kula and Vegeta and Trunks. They all look very nice. Their aesthetic is good. And then you've got the seventh anniversary LRs here. But that's pretty much it. Uh, what do you guys think? I think this looks fantastic. I think this is great. Um, personally, I'd love to be able to make some sort of card game with these cards. I'm definitely gonna be using them <laughs> in some of my videos if I can if I can help it definitely. What now? There's a helicopter too. Come on, <laughs> dude! I, I I'm kind of speechless. These are actually really nice. You love to see it, don't you? You love to see it. That's all for me, folks. Thanks very much for watching. Like, comment, sub, and have yourselves a fantastic one. See you guys.